everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a little bit of a collective haul and I know you guys like my collective haul videos and people have been requesting me on Twitter in my DMs to do little collective hauls because I used to do them quite a lot and I really don't anymore, I kind of focus hauls on main shops and I don't really do collective so I thought I would put together another little haul video and just show you guys a few little bits I picked up because you seem to like them kind of videos so but yeah, since I knew a little haul I've only got a few little bits to show you guys so if I look the same in this video as I did in one of my previous videos is because I'm having a little bit of a filming day sun's out and I'm in the mood to film so why not so yes let's get round to the haul so the first thing I picked up was this number one gradual self tan body lotion in the UK and it's by Dove and it's the summer glow moisturizing lotion and it's for fair to medium skin pick it up and give it a go because as you can see I'm literally white white as a ghost white as a vampire whatever you want to say I've heard all the jokes of porcelain doll color all the that yeah but I, I like being pale but I thought since the summer's coming and stuff it wouldn't hurt to see if I like this or not and it was only $1.99 and I then I picked up two of my favorite makeup products of all time and the first one is L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour mattifying infallible foundation in the shade 10 porcelain which is the exact perfect color for me it's porcelain it's perfect this is like my fifth bottle of this I think I haven't really been liking the Rimmel London match perfection foundation but this is my all time favourite foundation and I always go back to it and it's the perfect foundation to film in because it's matte so it doesn't cause any shine on the camera or anything like that and it is just perfect so I definitely recommend giving it a go if you haven't already and it was 7 .99. so yes, there's that then I also picked up this, now I haven't had this product in absolutely ages I'd probably say in about a year and a half I haven't had this makeup product but I had it beforehand and I went through about 5 tubes of it because it is great and it is the collection last imperfection ultimate wear concealer 16 hour wear concealer and i bought it in shade one fair £4.19 now this is the best concealer i have ever used the only reason i haven't brought it so long is because i don't really use concealers anymore i normally use my foundation and powder and that's all i use i won't use anything else on a normal day-to-day -day basis but i thought i'd pick this up and give this a go because i used to use this in only powder for like a normal day-to-day -day thing so i thought i'd give it a go again and yeah there's that but I picked up one of the fragrances from the Library of Fragrance and this is in Marshmallow now these have lots of different perfumes to choose from and lots of different scents to choose from and everything like that but I fell in love with the Marshmallow one this was £15 and it's 30 mils. as you can see in the close up shot but I absolutely love the smell of sweet perfumes I love any sweet perfumes whether they're bubblegum whether they're marshmallows I love sweet perfumes and they're normally the only perfumes I go for so I thought I'd give it a try and it is really really lovely and it smells exactly like marshmallows and I am just in love with it. But yes, I definitely recommend trying out some of their fragrances. So yeah, and there's that. So then I went to a charity shop, which I actually haven't been to any in absolutely ages because I don't really do shopping in town anymore. I normally do my shopping online. So I don't really get to look around anymore. And basically, for ages I've been looking for basically a little bag because I have a bigger bag. If you want to go see what bag I currently use or use on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll link my What's My Bag video in the description box below. Basically, that bag is huge and I don't need to take it out with me every day. And also, when you wear dresses and skirts, there's no pockets, so I can't put my phone or my money in pockets. Which sucks. So, I needed a little bag, and I came across this one when I went to the British Heart Foundation. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Normally, I would have it like this. Just so I can show you guys it properly, I will bring this one up. And then it also zips up there, as you can see. Now, obviously, this is a Chanel lookalike bag, because it was $6.99 or $7.99. Can't remember but it was brand new it had all the wrapping on it and everything so it is a chanel look likey but it was brand new which because i don't like used bags which is a weird thing with me i just don't like them but it basically had all the wrapping around the chains and the paper on the inside and everything like that which looks like that and i found the bag that this was basically based on and is supposed to look like and that one will be five grand so this one will be doing nicely and it's the perfect size just to take out on a day-to-day -day basis and I actually quite like the colour of it, I'm not normally a person to go for a dusky blue or a gold, but I do quite like this, so yeah, there's that. So then also when I went in there, they had this in there. Now this was 99p, so I don't quite think the person who priced this up knew that it was supposed to be, was supposed to be like a Chanel lookalike, and it is this purse, as you can see. Yes, I just thought I'd pick this up because normally if I nip out to say, you know, KFC or... Greg's or Costa or something, I don't need to take my bag, I just want my purse all my money in and my phone. So that's what this is perfect for. So I just thought I'd pick it up. So yeah, there's that. So yes, that was everything in this haul today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and check out some other videos. Give this video a big like. 
and I'll link all my social media in the description box below and I'll also put my Twitter and Instagram up on the screen here. So yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Well, there's what I actually won, but I won this one, which is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And if you didn't know, Belle from Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney princess and Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney film if we're going on princess films. It would be Beauty and the Beast.